Welcome to CPS 360 Sports. I'm Alex Weimer. And I'm Barrett Smith. We go to Hickman for a combo package of highlights including baseball and girls soccer. As the school year comes to a close, we come to our final Providence rivalry games. The Hickman Rockbridge boys baseball team squared off at the Bruins Stadium. It was a tough battle. Hickman had several good hits in the first few innings but were unable to cross the plate. New head coach Mason Rashawn has worked to develop his players to be successful athletes in their new district. Andrew Patton hit the longest drive of the night, making it all the way to third base. As the game progressed, the Bruins took the lead in the second inning, but the QBs would not go down without a fight. The Bruins went up two more runs in the sixth. Forrest Wilson caught a Rockbridge runner between bases and threw him out for an impressive play. The game ended with a score of 2-6 and continued Hickman's drought against the Crosstown rivals. The QPs ended up beating the Rockbridge Bruins earlier this week in district play but then lost to the Jeff City Jays in the final round. Hickman hopes to make a run for sectionals next year and possibly state. With CPS 360, this has been Kieran Malloy. Peace out and see you next year. This past Thursday, the Hickman ladies soccer team took on the Helias Crusaders in one of their last games of the season. Hickman has had a historic year, starting seven freshmen on the varsity team. played impressively against the Crusaders, but were unable to secure the win. The QPs had several attempts at the goal, but were unable to secure any of them. With CPS 360, I'm Kieran Moore. Man, good for those Lady QPs. Yeah, they're always a great team. We swing it back to Hickman, where Matthew Rothermick brings us another one-two punch of baseball and girls soccer. We've got high school baseball at Hickman High on a beautiful Saturday morning, as the QPs took on the Helias Crusaders. Early in the game to get the scoring going, Zach Stiles laces this single in the right field to play to run. That'll make it one to nothing. QP fans now have to try to start a rally. The Crusaders keep piling on, however, on this single by Alex Bush just. That'll score two more, making it three to nothing. These proud Elias parents like what they're seeing from their team. But Bush Jost wasn't done in this one as he launches a long fly ball to left field and it will get out of here for a two run shot, making it five to nothing, Crusaders. Superfan Larry looks on with disappointment as the QPs just can't figure out the offense. QPs finally do get on the board with this late two run home run by Nebraska commit Cameron Chick, but the QPs will end up dropping this one five to three. It was a crosstown rivalry in Columbia, Missouri as the Battle Suns hosted the Hickman QPs in a girls soccer matchup. First half, quick goal here by the junior Shelby Atherton and she'll give the Spartans an early 1-0 lead. These kids make the highlight reel with some not quite highlight worthy catches. 
Pupi's with the counter here, however, as Hannah Larson slices, dices, and delivers this strike as she knocks in the goal and evens it at one all. The Cupies were bundled up on a cold May evening, but they were feeling pretty good about their team. Soccer can sometimes be a long sport, so let's speed it up a bit to the end of double overtime, where we're still tied at 1-1. PK as we go as Haley Meister knocks in the PK for the Cupies. That'll give them an early advantage. Goalkeeper Allison Keyes was the real star of this show, as she makes the great stop here. Denying Battle the goal. Last chance for Battle, and it's Keys again. The freshman comes up big, and the Cubes win this one in penalty kick. Well, that's all for our show. I'm Barrett Smith. And I'm Alex Weimer. Thanks for watching CPS 360 Sports.